Welcome or welcome back to this men's colons channel. Today I've got 14 colons for you and these are some of my favorites. My job is to find the best fragrances for men and these niche and designer ones are the ones that you should check out if you're looking for a new cologne. Let's start with a niche fragrance and this is a gem. It is an aquatic rose fragrance. It's so attractive smelling, it's so cooling, it's so long lasting. This fragrance has got it all, okay? And it is 40 knots by Sergio. Man, just smelling this fragrance, it is to die for men it's so sexy it's this shower fresh fragrance but made more aquatic more deep more spicy this rose in here is so captivating men so manly and this fragrance is perfect for all year round because it's super strong but also in the summertime when most fragrances just don't last for men this will last on you and i I'm 100% sure you'll get compliments for your cologne with this one. You can't miss it. It's so good. Oh, God, it's so good. If you're looking maybe for something new to add to your collection, you like new releases and you're always on the hunt to smell the best, this designer cologne has just come out literally last week and I just blind bought it because I love this line and it's so good. I've done a review on this channel about this fragrance. It's L'Homme Ideal. The parfum version and man this is so incredible i'm raving about it it's so good guys you can't miss it this is a killer fragrance it lasts it projects whereas the the other favorite from the line it just didn't last as long this one they amped improved the projection longevity and the scent itself it's this warm amaretto almondy biscuity goodness with a bit of patchouli it's so sexy it's fresh but deep at the same time an all year round fragrance that will just captivate people it's such a high quality scent next up is another niche scent and I would say if you're a guy and you're starting out with fragrance, I would say go to niche fragrances if you want something super unique, if you want something more custom and go for designers if you want like a super crowd pleasing great scent. This one is one of those really unique, captivating, signature worthy scents and it is Iris Malikan from Maison Crivelli telling you this juice is so good. It's this smoky, nutty dryness with a bit of sweetness. It's an iris fragrance, but it's not your typical iris scent. It's got this smokiness that really makes it different. And this, the sillage on this is huge, absolutely huge. So you won't be disappointed with that either. I really try to just encourage you and recommend long lasting and projecting fragrances because I know it's important for you guys. And this scent is signature worthy. It's so unique, it's so attractive. This is like a guy who just wants to smell unique, knows his fragrances. This is a conversation starter sort of a fragrance. Another fragrance that I want to recommend because I've got everything from cheap to more expensive fragrances. There is a great fragrance for everybody, every budget. Don't believe people who tell you like you have to spend like thousands on a great fragrance. You don't. You can find a great fragrance on whatever budget and this just proves it. This is one of my favorite clones for men actually and it's so affordable. It's always on sale. Buy it on sale and it's for such a prom. This scent, I'll link it down below. Uh, it discount us as well because it, this is just so affordable and <laughs> Man, I love this. You know, I've got so many fragrances in my collection. This is so captivating, super sexy, refreshing. This smells sporty, fun, uh, youthful, energetic, perfect for somebody who 
the sports outside or if you live in like a hot climate this would be a perfect fragrance for you or if you somebody who likes just wearing casual things you don't really dress up ever and you want to smell like super manly super fresh this scent is to die for it's sexiness in a bottle it's so affordable the only issue you have at this price point is the longevity you have to over apply it and reapply it but i mean for the price that you get it and the scent profile it's a no-brainer and just get it and thank me later you can thank me later another scent uh, is one that i've actually not talked about on this channel for a while now but i used to talk about it all the time because it's my love it's a fragrance that i believe it's extremely manly in like this confident maybe a little abrupt way but it's still very sexy it is red tobacco mancera this scent is it's not for everybody this is not like a crowd pleasing scent but in my opinion sometimes it's better to choose those sort of scents because at least you make an impression with your fragrance you're different and if you really love the way you smell you will just pull it off with your sheer confidence and this fragrance is a confidence boosting fragrance Ugh. It's so good, it's tobacco, it's pear, it's saffron, it's got this green apple, really juicy, fruity opening, and then it settles into this patchouli, woody, dark, dry fragrance. It's so badass. I mean, I would imagine it on a guy, like motorcycle, sort of a situation, really badass, doesn't care what anybody thinks and it projects last everything super great and with this one get it at discounters again because they always have great deals with mancera on discounters and if you don't know what discounters are because maybe somebody doesn't i'm just assuming that they do but it is fragrance websites who solely usually sell online and they've got great deals they always have got sales going on on fragrances so you know, you can just get yourself a deal. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Next up is one of my, again, I keep saying it's my favorite fragrance, or, but truly there is a couple fragrances that if you watch the channel, you'll know I'll say I love it again and again because I do and I'm quite consistent in my taste. So it's YSL La Nuit de L'Homme Eau de Toilette. This is a fragrance that I myself bought for my husband because I loved it so much. I was like, he gets to have it. I want to smell it on him. This is a fall in love sort of a scent. Ah, oh, it's magic for a date fragrance. This is perfect. It's it's nicely present, but it's not cloying or too strong. It's so inviting. This cardamom, lavender, beautiful, soft, just oh, sensuality that comes from the scent. It's amazing. You can really uh, spray like 10 sprays of it and it won't be ever too much because it's got this lightness in there. And I actually would encourage you to, you know, spray quite a few sprays of this one if you're wearing it. Man, this is one of the best selling fragrances of all time. And I totally get it and you need to get it because it's so so good it's just to die for it's still one of the best fragrances on the designer market for a date in particular next up is a niche fragrance this one to me you might be surprised that on this list there isn't a creed event and this is why because this fragrance to me it's got a similar sort of a set profile it's not a dupe but it's so much more original and it also has got amazing longevity and projection which creed aventus just doesn't have that and it is Maison francisca Cajan Gen gentle <laughs> gentle fluidity silver cap got a massive bottle of this one this is how much this fragrance is amazing actually we also had like a small one so it's this is a fragrance that i adore smelling um on men in particular this scent it's not that i smell it all the time like pretty much my husband is the only person that i've ever smelled um, this fragrance on because it's not as popular as something as creative ventus so it's great because you've got this edge of uniqueness but it is that really fresh woody musky very fresh raw masculinity smell this is also a bit more classy than creed aventus i would say but it has got the same like boss energy if you will i know it's a bit grand but you know what i mean it's very like 
authoritative, if that's even a word. Amazing, absolutely amazing fragrance. Just remember to get the silver cup not the gold one because the gold one is uh, just much more feminine next up i've got another affordable fragrance for you that is just killer i mean i love this line the one million this in particular is the one million royale this fragrance i mean i love the original one million this fragrance i recently got because i really love the sweetness of it it's a bit more fruity there is a bit more going on it's got amazing cinnamon lavender concoction benzo benzoin but truly in there as well it's a bit more ambitious i want to say than one million it's a bit more like oh i'll turn your head a little bit if i wear something like this not me i'm saying like if i was you and this scent is just strong long lasting they make such crowd pleasing scents so if you want something that is crowd pleasing that you know that you'll just buy and everybody will love the way you smell or if you're a bit more on a budget this like the whole line is amazing this one in particular and the original i would suggest Killer. another scent that i wanted to mention is a scent that actually smells like a very expensive uh, roja elysium fragrance but it is much more affordable that's why i wanted to put it in there because if you like those fresh fragrances or, or if you love elysium by roja in particular the cologne version and you're like oh man i wish i could afford that but i can't and all the other fragrances they don't quite capture that scent this captures it perfectly it's the effect a frag heads asylum extrait de parfum from fomo parfum this scent smells so similar to elysium it smells basically like dior sauvage or de toilette but made niche and that is what i would say it's not like a dupe for dior sauvage but you get like if you love dior sauvage if you like your blue colognes then you'll absolutely adore the scent it lasts projects it's so affordable and it does smell niche and i bet if somebody didn't know roja elysium like by heart they would say oh this is a niche fragrance they would say oh this is probably roja elysium if they just didn't own it uh, themselves because it's so similar and it's a great smelling fragrance so attractive perfect for every day and you're getting an amazing fragrance amazing packaging as well like niche level packaging for a really affordable price this list also couldn't be made without one at least aqua di Gio, and i've chosen the profondo version currently it's my favorite it's so deep it's it, they've made it a bit more modern i've got the newest 2024 version with this matte bottle i love the bottle by the way it's so cool um and the scent itself it's fresh it's uh, like a sea guard it's patchouli it's this aquatic marine saltiness in there or if you're still wearing the aqua di Gio, the transparent bottle what are you waiting for try this one i mean if, I think at this point in time, I might change my mind in the future, but this is the best flanker followed by the Profuma version. Um, I still just don't want to like the the or the parfum version of Vaco di Gio. I don't think it's modern enough for me. This one is so much more just modern, strong, youthful, up to date. Like it just smells sexy. And the other one smells a bit like a dad like you know everybody wore it in the 90s and it just smells like a dad for me so next up is a another mysterious scent this is for somebody who loves strong fragrances maybe you love oriental fragrances you like those deep mysterious fragrances and maybe you want a fragrance that is won't break the bank but will still give you that scent profile it is aga and meh Mer, I can't say mer from um, Michael Mallow. Love the bottle. The sprayers are also amazing. Man, this is sweet, woody, but very transparent, similar to like Baccarat Rouge. It's also very spicy and it's got those like oriental spices in there it's a bit smoky it's very like in your face i'm here i'm confident like speak to me now about this deal 
matter of fact sort of a fragrance super cool i would also like imagine this fragrance on a guy like being in a bar and just like sitting there mysteriously sipping his whiskey um that is the sort of a vibe uh, of this fragrance super cool super different nice one are you ready for the next one i'm like running out of breath because <laughs> i'm talking about so many fragrances uh, but another one that i have to mention is this baby right here ysl y intense um and ysl y eau de parfum those two are my two favorite fragrances from the line i've done a review of the newest one the elixir i don't really like that one too much i would say still the best ones are to get are the intense on or the eau de parfum amazing longevity projection again you don't have to worry about that this is literally like you could kill a cat with this fragrance it's so strong so be careful actually with sprays with this one just spray Spray good amount but not like don't go overboard and um, this scent is a nice blue cologne very like fresh ginger apple opening woodsy you know all the blue cologne jazz but I think this fragrance has got something that is like just super attractive um, it's not as woody as some other colognes it's got a bit more of this ginger apple concoction which is beautiful and when we ask women what they think about this they said it smells like money so if you want to smell like money then go for YSLY intense subscribe if you haven't already at this point i think i've given you enough reason to subscribe to this um next up let's talk about this one a gentleman Givenchy uh, Privé this scent it's one of my favorites because it's so different it's not a blue cologne designers usually release blue colognes or like fresh grassy barbershop sort of fragrances this is a rich syrupy uh, iris scent it's so formal classy beautiful this smells like a gentleman i get the name it does smell like an old-fashioned like english gentleman with a hat and everything so if you like that sort of fragrance maybe you dress that way maybe you want to portray yourself as this guy i think fragrance is an amazing way to just you know give off a certain appearance before people even see you like register what you're wearing you even like smell like this which is great this fragrance i would see uh, at a black tie event uh, if you maybe work at a university you want to smell like you know proper this is a beautiful scent if you like old worldly films and stuff like that then you'll love this one it kind of smells like old books as well <laughs> another scent <laughs> it is one that is a solid number one always on this list it's the uh, one of those fragrances that i always talk about and it's uh, the first fragrance I actually bought uh, when I started this channel because I was like if I'm going to talk about men's fragrances and I've always loved fragrances and especially men's fragrances actually more than women's um, I thought I have to have this fragrance first to talk about it because I'm raving about it men have to know about it and it was Bleu de Chanel Parfum I literally went after work one day and I was like I'm getting this fragrance I need to talk about it and I want to have a bottle now at the moment the parfum is my favorite version it smells a bit more exclusive uh, a bit more expensive than the eau de parfum it lasts a long time projects a bit less than the eau de parfum but it's just magical and so many people wear the eau de toilette and the eau de parfum that I find that it's nice to just you know be a bit different and get the parfum but the whole line is so manly so classy this is like number one you should own this fragrance if you are a guy because i'm telling you the amount of compliments like it's impossible to dislike this scent everybody will just fall uh, to their knees because of the scent i adore it it's so manly so beautiful i was like want to spray my bed with this it's literally i get obsessed with it it's so good and i've heard women also absolutely getting obsessed with it buying it for themselves after they break up with their boyfriend because they are like oh i miss the scent it's so good so 
This just goes to tell you, this is an amazing, amazing scent. Be careful though, if a deal online is too good to be true, it is probably too good to be true because Chanel never does discounts pretty much, very rarely 10% off, but it's really hard. So um, get it from Chanel's website. I'll always link the Chanel website because you can also get a couple, a couple of samples of your order to try out any other scents from the line you want to um, try and or get. Uh, and yeah, be safe shopping out there online. <laughs> what other fragrances you want me to test out? Leave your suggestions in the comments. I would love to test some new fragrances for you. As always, like this video if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.